Okay, as you all know, audio is very important whenever you're producing a video. And Rode Microphones out of Australia, they've just come out with this Wireless Go system that the real benefit is it's tiny. Both the receiver and the transmitter are tiny. And the transmitter also has a built-in lav mic on it, so you can actually use it just clipped on your, your shirt and not, not use it with a lav, or you can plug in a lavalier mic and use it that way, either way. So you, for $199, you get this, the receiver and the transmitter, and you get a cable to hook it up to your camera, and you get two cables to charge them. There's the, the little lavalier mic built into it. So basically the kit comes plug and play. I just turned these on, and I just used them right out of the box. And it even comes with wind muffs to click click on there to on a, on a breezy day to uh, take care of that problem. There's the cable it comes with to hook it onto your camera. And you can get a cable from Rode to hook it directly into your smartphone. And with an, a, a newer iPhone, you're going to have to have the Lightning to 3.5 mil, mil adapter, which you'll see here at the end of the video. And you can plug it right into an iPhone. But take a listen. See what you think. Okay, in this first test, I have the Rode transmitter right here and this has the built-in lavalier type mic just built into the unit so this is the first test and of course you can see I'm totally wireless I'm about eight feet from the camera right now I've got it zoomed in a little bit but I'm about eight feet from the camera and this would be typical when you're shooting you're, you're gonna be about this distance when you're interviewing somebody or whatever and I'm just gonna walk back a little bit just to give a little bit of distance but this shouldn't be a problem walking anywhere around here I'm going into the back I'm going back here I'm probably about 40 45 feet away now from the camera and uh, this shouldn't be these kind of distances should not be a problem whatsoever and then the next test I'm going to plug in a lavalier mic into this I have one of my giant squid labs handy and I'm gonna plug that in and see how well that works and I'm just talking in a normal voice right now. I'm going to raise my voice. If I was yelling across the room to somebody, let's see how that, if that peaks out the audio. And now I'm back to a uh, normal voice. Now we're going to test with the lavalier mic plugged in. All right, so now here is the transmitter, the body pack transmitter. And it does have a clip on it here. So you could clip it on your pocket or you could hide it just about anywhere. See how small this is? Really tiny. And I've got the giant squid lavalier mic plugged in here. And then, of course, I've got the giant squid mic right here. So this is when you would be using it with a lavalier mic plugged in. And when you plug in the lavalier mic, it disables this mic, or at least it's supposed to. So we're testing that theory right now. So I'm talking right into the unit, and it's away from me. So my guess is this mic here is picking up the audio and not the built-in mic. So there you go. So we've tested it using this mic and using the giant squid mic. You let me know which you think sounds better, and I'm going to raise my voice. Like I was talking to somebody across the room, now I'm back to a normal tone of voice. Okay, the iPhone is right there, and we've got the uh, unit, the receiver, plugged in via the lightning port with an adapter cable. We've got it plugged into the iPhone, and here's the mic that I'm using right now, the built-in mic. I'm a big in about eight feet away or so from the phone, so you can hear what that audio sounds like. I'm going to do another clip with the giant squid mic plugged in. Okay, with this clip, you can see here I've got the body pack transmitter here. I've got the uh, microphone plugged in. This is a giant squid mic. I didn't bother to hide the cord. I've got it plugged in and we're using the giant squid mic on the shirt and we'll see if that audio is any better and again the receiver is plugged right into the iPhone. So it's showing how versatile this system can be where you can use it with a regular camera or you can use it with your iPhone. You let me know what you think about the audio quality. And so I think the system is well made for $199. It's well worth it and very portable. You can always have it with you. So two thumbs up for this affordable wireless setup.